Karunashray is a hospice located on Airport Vardu Road in Bangalore. It is run by Bangalore Hospice Trust, a joint project of Rotary Club of Bangalore Indranagar and Indian Cancer Society. This hospice provides palliative care to the patients suffering from terminal illness. We tend to look after those patients who have finished treatment, those cancer patients who have finished treatment and uh, the doctors declare that there is nothing more can be done for them. Uh, so there's, uh, at a stage like this, there is a lot of uh, mental trauma, not only for the patient who knows that within a few days he might be no more, but for the family members also, because they also know that they're going to lose somebody, uh, a very loved one, uh, in a few days' time. So our unit of care is both the family as well as the patients. We have so far looked after over 7,500 patients and their families, and all the care that we give is totally free of charge. We take the patients after they've finished from uh, the cancer hospital, and when the doctors say that only palliative care is possible, that is where we can control the pain, we can control the vomiting, we can control the, all the other very disruptive symptoms so that the end comes peacefully and with dignity. The front area of this stone building houses the administrative block while the wards are situated on the rear side. These wards overlook a large pool of water. Such thoughtful use of water and ample open spaces are some of the features of its unique design. Karunashray is not an ordinary hospital with a gloomy feel of impending death. Its design and architecture bring about a sense of calm. Karunashraya was designed by Chandavarkar Thakar, uh, Mr. Mohe, who is an architect uh, with them. And this building was uh, designed uh, keeping in mind the needs of uh, the inmates who are the advanced uh, cancer patients. The building was specifically designed uh, to give an atmosphere of calm and peace so that the uh, advanced cancer patients could spend their last days in peace. Therefore, there are certain elements that uh, have been included in the design of this building. One has been uh, that the building is open uh, all the wards open out either into a water body or into a garden. And there is uh, ample place for cross ventilation because the building is open from all sides. Nature forms an important element of the design of this building. There are parks and greenery inside the complex. The four wards of this 55 bed hospice have been named after various flowers. Other than the wards, there are also special rooms for those in a distressed state. The objective is to provide each individual their own space and privacy. The design of the building incorporates the special requirements of the people living here. This area, for example, has been created for patients to watch the sunset. There is a separate place for meditation and reflection. Other facilities include daycare centre, training centre and counselling for family members. At Karunashray, the medical needs of patients are taken care of in the best possible way and efforts are made to minimise their pain. But more than that, this well-maintained hospice gives them a chance to spend their last days in dignity. first day, like its open design, Karunashray openly welcomes the young and old, poor and rich to its fold. About 72 dedicated medical and nursing staff and volunteers take it upon themselves to take care for their needs until they finally rest in peace. The service is absolutely free and the hospice sustains itself through generous donations. Karnashray highlights the philosophy of the hospice movement that there is a limit to cure but there is no limit to care and when there is no cure there is a greater need for care. In Bangalore with camera person Gauri, this is Garima for Real Estate Television.